my child. Imagine a love so deep it triumphs over your soul. It's a love that makes you wholly mine, a devotion that fills your spirit with celestial joy as you surrender to me. You are no longer your own, for you were acquired at a precious cost, the sanctified essence of my blood. The more ardently you adore me, the deeper your yearning to devote every fiber of your existence to my service becomes. This devotion can fill your spirit with celestial elation as you yield yourself to me completely. Rest assured, for I am impeccably virtuous in all my ways, and you can surrender your heart to me without fear of exploitation. Paradoxically, it is in surrendering to me that you find true emancipation. I have permeated the very core of your being, and my spirit within you claims dominion over increasing territories. Where the presence of the Lord resides, freedom thrives. I beseech you to reflect my divine radiance to others, for I am molding you into my likeness with ever-ascending brilliance. Revel in the freedom you have discovered in me and willingly submit to my triumphant love. Should you possess me, your Redeemer, Sovereign, and Confidant, you possess all that genuinely matters. It matters not if you lack riches, fame, or worldly success. Allow not such absence to dishearten you. As I once imparted to my disciples, what profit is it to gain the entire world but lose your own soul? Nothing rivals the priceless treasure of eternal life. Picture a jeweler in relentless pursuit of flawless pearls. Upon finding one of unsurpassed purity, he relinquishes all to acquire it. My kingdom is akin to this, a treasure beyond estimation. Therefore, learn to find contentment in having me beloved, regardless of worldly shortfalls. Comparing oneself to others often serves as the wellspring of discontent. I beseech you to diligently evade this perilous pitfall. Keep in mind that you are my unique creation, redeemed through my crimson sacrifice, and exquisitely precious in my eyes. Foster a joyful communion with me, the Savior, whose love for you surpasses your wildest imagination. I shall continue to transform you into the masterpiece I designed you to be. Cultivate gratitude diligently, for it paves the royal road to unadulterated joy. Indeed, no pleasure finds fulfillment without the expression of thanksgiving. While it is commendable to extend gratitude to those who bestow blessings upon you, never forget that I am the source from whom all blessings flow. Therefore, frequently, shower me with praise and thanks each day. This nourishes your soul and heightens your joy. Moreover, it forges a closer connection with me, offering you a simple means to draw near. As my cherished follower, you have been gifted with magnificent grace, favor unearned and undeserved. No one and no set of circumstances can strip you of this extravagant endowment. You are mine for all eternity. In all of creation, nothing can sever the bonds of my love from you. Every morning as you awaken, speak these words. Thank you, Jesus, for this gift of a new day. As you journey through the day, be vigilant for the blessings and joys I scatter in your path. But always remember that the greatest treasure of all is my presence beside you, for I am the indescribable gift. In moments of adversity, when you find yourself entangled in trying circumstances, pour out your heart to me with the knowledge that I am always attentive and deeply caring. Lean on me, your ever-present solace in times of trouble. Refrain from allowing your predicaments to consume your thoughts, no matter how eager you are, to resolve them. After you have exerted your best effort, often the wisest course of action is to wait patiently, seeking renewal within my presence. Reject the falsehood that you cannot savor life until your difficulties are resolved. Yes, the world may be filled with tribulations, but within me, you can find peace, 
even amid chaos. Our relationship is a collaborative endeavor, you and I working together. Turn to me for guidance and assistance. Apply your abilities to the fullest, and trust me to accomplish what lies beyond your reach. Instead of forcing events to a hasty conclusion, embrace serenity and ask me to illuminate the path, all within my perfect timing. Hold my hand with unwavering trust, beloved, and cherish the journey within my presence. I am your source of jubilation. Let these words resonate within your mind and echo deep within your soul. I, your steadfast companion who will never forsake you, am an endless wellspring of joy. If you wholeheartedly embrace this belief, you can bask in the knowledge that every day of your life is a day worth rejoicing. Disregard the label of a bad day, even when you grapple with profound struggles. Your circumstances may indeed be arduous, yet I am by your side, holding your right hand. Goodness can be found in each day, every day, due to my unwavering presence and enduring love. Material wealth may evade you by worldly standards, but my unwavering love is immeasurable. It provides you refuge under the shelter of my wings, no matter the tumultuous world around you. It grants you access to the river of my delights. When the world seems devoid of joy, turn to me and drink deeply from this enchanting river, my loving presence. I am your ultimate joy. I extend to you an invitation to behold my splendor and seek me increasingly. This is an invitation brimming with delight. You may glimpse my loveliness in the wonders of nature, yet those are but feeble reflections of my boundless glory. The grandest revelations await you when, in the hereafter, you shall behold me face to face in the realm of heaven. For now, the privilege of gazing upon my beauty requires steadfast focus on my unseen presence. Through prayer, and contemplation of my word. The core of your quest to find me is the constant awareness that I am forever with you. I am always attuned to your every moment, training you to become increasingly conscious of my presence. Scatter reminders of my nearness throughout your home, car, and workplace. Whisper my name to yourself as a reminder of my proximity. Sing praises unto me. Read or recite passages from scripture aloud. Seek companions who share your fervor for knowing me more deeply and embark on this glorious quest together. Pursue me earnestly, considering me an indispensable necessity, and seek me with all your heart. Fix your gaze not on the visible, but on the invisible. You expend an excessive amount of time and mental energy pondering trivial matters, superficial concerns devoid of value in my kingdom. The gift of sight is a marvel granted by me, yet it can become a snare if misused. You have access to mirrors that reflect your image with disquieting precision. Coupled with media's portrayal of flawlessness, this can tempt you to obsess over your appearance. The same holds true for your possessions and familial ties. Such preoccupations divert your focus from the soul-enriching joys of knowing me. In seeking me, you revel in the company of the only perfect being to ever exist. However, my perfection does not lie in outward appearance, but in my divine, sinless character. I am the one who loves you with a love that never falters and bestows upon you perfect peace. Therefore, refrain from squandering your thoughts on trivialities. Redirect your focus to me and receive my peace. Know this, my child, I affirm you. As you are mine, adopted into my royal family, I regard you through the lens of grace. I chose you before the foundation of the world to be holy and blameless in my sight. I acknowledge that you fall short of this lofty standard in your daily life. However, I perceive you as holy and blameless because this is your eternal position within my kingdom. While I may not condone everything you do, I certainly approve of you, your authentic self, the one I meticulously designed. 
I am aware of your deep yearning for my affirmation, and I acknowledge the difficulty you face in accepting it. I implore you to adopt the perspective of grace and view yourself and others through these lenses. Through grace, focus more on the good and the right, and less on the wrong. Learn to collaborate with me and embrace my transformative work in your life as I mold you into my likeness with ever-increasing radiance. I not only approve of you, I take delight in you. Persist in dwelling in me, rooted and built up in me, overflowing with gratitude. The relationship you share with me is unlike any other. You abide in me and I dwell in you. You never journey alone, for I am always at your side. This unparalleled connection with me provides an unwavering foundation for your life. I encourage you to continue building upon this foundation, living in constant awareness of my presence. Gratitude serves as one of the most crucial building blocks for your existence. The more gratitude you incorporate into your life, the richer your experience becomes. Gratitude expands the capacity of your heart to receive abundant joy. It equips you to endure suffering without descending into despair or self-pity. Regardless of the circumstances, you can always give thanks to me for your eternal salvation and my unwavering love. These blessings remain constant and unchanging. Other blessings, such as relationships, finances, or health, may fluctuate. I urge you to count both kinds of blessings until you overflow with gratitude. I am God, and you are not. While this may sound stern, it is, in truth, a blessed reality check. In the Garden of Eden, Satan tempted Eve with the very same desire that led to his fall from heaven, to be like God supplanting my divine position. Eve yielded to this temptation, as did Adam. Since that fateful moment, human nature has been inclined to act as if they are God, striving to control every facet of life and passing judgment when circumstances fail to align with their desires. Remembering that you are not God liberates you. You need not shoulder the burden of matters beyond your control which encompasses most matters. By relinquishing everything not within your purview, you free yourself from carrying needless burdens and enhance your effectiveness where you do have influence. Furthermore, you can entrust your concerns to me, acknowledging my sovereignty. Present your requests to me with thanksgiving. Share your prayers with me. Living in this manner will shield you from anxiety and bestow upon you a peace that transcends comprehension. Joyfully thank me for the forgiveness of all your sins, past, present, and future, known and unknown. Forgiveness is your greatest need, and I have met this need perfectly, eternally. I am the eternal life who was with the Father and revealed to you. Through your faith in me as your Savior God, you inherit everlasting life. Let this astounding promise fill you with joy and dispel any fear of the future. Your future is radiant and secure, an inheritance that will never decay, spoil, or fade, reserved for you in heaven. The most fitting response to this boundless, infinite gift is gratitude. The more you thank me, the more joyful your life becomes. Therefore, be vigilant for the things that kindle gratitude within you. The act of thanking me, whether through spoken or written word, in silent prayer, soft whispers, exuberant shouts, or songs of praise, magnifies your joy and elevates you above your circumstances. An enjoyable way to express your adoration is to read psalms aloud. Rejoice in me, my redeemed one, for nothing can sever your connection with my love. I am the vine and you are one of the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in them will bear abundant fruit. Apart from me, severed from vital union with me, you can accomplish nothing. Contemplate this glorious truth. I am alive within you, just as sap courses through a vine into its branches, 
my life flows through you. I am boundless and perfect, yet I have chosen to make my dwelling within you. The intimacy we share is profoundly rich. I discern your every thought. I am cognizant of all your emotions, and I comprehend your weaknesses. I stand ready to infuse you with my strength when you cooperate with my indwelling presence. When you relinquish control to me, entreating me to guide your actions, you can yield an abundant harvest. If you endeavor to act independently of me, ignoring our vital connection, you are likely to stumble and falter. Anything produced apart from me holds no value in my kingdom. Hence, nurture your intimacy with me, beloved, and delight in my life-giving presence. My kingdom is not of this world. It is indestructible and eternal. When you witness shocking evil and mismanagement in your surroundings, do not lose heart. As I faced arrest, I informed my disciples that I could summon my father and he would dispatch more than 12 legions of angels to rescue me. Yet that was not the course we had chosen. My crucifixion was necessary to save all who call upon my name. Remember you are a part of my kingdom, one of eternal life and eternal light. The darker the world becomes, the more crucial it is to cling to the hope you have in me. Despite appearances, I remain in control, accomplishing my purposes in ways beyond your understanding. Even as this world spirals deeper into its fallen state, you can dwell within it with joy and peace in your heart. Just as I told my disciples, I now say to you, take courage, I have conquered the world. Because you are a citizen of my kingdom, you can find peace in me, even in the midst of turmoil. Amen.